Hungry Milk. Daphne's getting milk. So, <clears throat> this week I have like a whole bunch of things. I just started a bunch of stuff. Um, I haven't been super productive, but I'm starting things. Okay, so um, I started with this glass. Um, I <laughs> sanded it a bit and then I put some of the transparent ground on it. And now I'm just waiting for it to dry. And I don't know if it's going to work that well because I don't actually know how this stuff really goes transparent in the first place so and it kind of looks like it's it's slept it's separated and or slid around or something I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to paint with watercolor but also I've been really interested in figuring out how this uh, chroma crackle stuff works I've had this for a few years now and uh, I've never really made much use of it so I've been I'm putting down sample layers and I'm trying to keep track of how long it takes to dry. So usually when I use it, it turns out like this <laughs> because if you don't put it on thick enough, it doesn't do anything. It's got like a tiny bit of crackling, but that's it. And I always forget that it dries on white, so I tend to be too afraid to use it because I would only think of it after I've already painted and I uh, through a stencil it's a little bit better and then it goes off the charts when you get really thick but it also takes days to dry um, it says it takes one to three days uh, for layers to dry so I don't know I don't know if this will ever dry Look at this thing is supposed to turn white and it's still quite yellow, and it's not even really attached to the paper when it's done, but oh, I'm interested. <coughs> so I'm very excited um, to the point where I've already kind of uh, started with some other stuff, started video with this. And this one here is starting to dry unevenly because I put it on unevenly, so that's how that works. Yeah, I don't know. Ew. The thing is, um, I don't know how to make crackle paste work with my kind of art because it's one of those um, mixed media uh, mediums <laughs> that seems better used for non representational art. You know, art that's just lines and colors like. Um, acrylic pores and things like that so I've been avoiding this stuff because I don't know how to work it in with representational art so this week I've decided to just uh, go ahead and force myself into it a little bit and see what I get out of it I just kind of ruined the surface of this Huh, but it can only really add to the flavor, right? What else am I doing? What else am I doing? 
that's the problem with uh, my spouse has been home for a few days and so I've been kind of um, delaying and delaying and then um, starting some stuff like this and by the time I get to a time where I'm alone I can't remember what I was going to talk about this might be it <laughs> so uh, this stuff doesn't actually go clear <laughs> Especially not in glass, but um, generally, I thought it went clear on other things, but I guess it doesn't really. Maybe it was too thick on this, I don't know. I guess I'll have to do a more solid coat and then just do the shape of whatever the heck I'm painting on it, I guess. Eh. Oh well, I knew that was going to be too <laughs> adventurous to be real. So, um, two days later, this is almost dry. This is nowhere close to dry, but bits of it are falling off, apparently. Interesting. Interesting. That's a long time, guys. A long, long time. Long time. <laughs> and, uh, here's the result of just smearing it on. Still wet here. Don't know why. Here's the other one. Looks really cool. Um, this is why I made the second one <laughs> because because um, I used the the ink which reactivates in water, so it sucked all the ink up in the in the crackle paste here. So the crackle paste is colored now. Uh, which is cool, which is a cool effect. It was not the effect that I was going for, but it's pretty cool. <sighs> Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I don't know. This is so time consuming and why I don't do this often. I like the cute little balls. <laughs> They're cute. Um, yeah, I was going for kind of like um, the embroidery style and uh, it's really hard. Really, really hard. Of course my lines aren't as thin as they're supposed to be so it's not going to look nearly as good anyway but it's just really hard. And, you know, my hand is generally not good to begin with, so I'm feeling a lot of pain right now, but, um, yep. I know I, I have to be kind of really patient with stuff like this, because it is time-consuming, and that's why people charge you an awful lot for decorated sugar cookies. And I haven't eaten one during the session, so that's good. And... It's messy, and I hate it. 
And I don't even want to deal with this disaster. Ugh. So that's it for now. Maybe even for the whole day. Forget this. <laughs> I'm tired. Mm -hmm.